Ski TV here at our studios at the NEC in Birmingham at the National Snow Show and we have a special guest in from the Ski Instructors Academy. It's Tony Simpson from Paul Simpson. Simpson. Paul Simpson. Paul Simpson. Hey, come on. <laughs> sorry, sorry Paul slash Tony, but it is Paul Simpson. I don't know you talking about. Yeah, Tony's trying to cool I'll be talking about that. Right? <laughs> now you're from the Ski Instructors Academy in Zelanzi in Austria and uh, mate, tell us about the SI. Well, Ski Instructor Academy is a bit of an unusual entity. I mean, we're the world's largest ski and ball training company for instructors. So you're looking at, you know, next week, for example, I've got 200 plus arriving to do ski and board courses. The company was set up with a sort of hidden truth behind the ski industry. So what people probably don't know is when they're booking these courses around the world, most people are actually agents like the travel agent, like going to a travel agent. The Instructor Academy is actually a training academy. So it's my team of these highly qualified level four examiners that you meet and you will work with as opposed to you looking at a course being sent somewhere to a ski school. So it's a little bit of a different setup. And obviously we add in the expertise of biomechanics, sports science, all the things that I, I specialize in, the psychology of coaching. So it's a little bit of an unusual company because it also doesn't just favor the gap year market between 18 and 21, but actually we get a lot of people taking this sabbatical from work between 40 and 50, and a lot of people who take early retirement who want this as a hobby job, they train with us. And although we work primarily with the Austrian qualifications, which of course are an EU qualification, we also do work with the CSIA AZ as well. That's fantastic. And, and, uh, Paul, well, when people want to go out to, to train with you for nothing, right? they say to themselves, okay, I might be in my early mid 20s, I just want to become a ski instructor. What's the process? They can get in contact with you and go from there. They can, yeah. I mean, obviously, the problem is nowadays with social media and things, as soon as you mention the word ski instructor, your phone picks that up and it'll start bombarding you with adverts from different companies. Now, fairness, probably our advert is always at the top because we are so big. Um, we take people actually from complete beginner. So they may have zero weeks experience because once again, we just add in a bit of a booster element for those people. And because you're training with high level qualified race and ski coaches, those people can accelerate your program through all the bad habits that let's say somebody has who comes to us in six weeks. So often it's actually a benefit coming with zero weeks, which is weird. But equally we do get people with six to 50 to 100 weeks experience coming on these courses. I think most what people need to think nowadays is what is the goal behind what I want to do? You know, when or what it is. Is it gap year or not? And then I'm going to go off to university, be a lawyer or whatever it is. Or is this something you want to do as a lifetime, as a career? And that will change which pathway you need to go on. And of course now with this perfect storm this year of COVID, Brexit together, Brexit's having a huge effect on the UK market because many people have probably not understood that you're not work eligible anymore. And unfortunately, last week's a good example, I had to cancel 600 things that were in Japan. Because Japan didn't go no, And those people, I would suggest strongly people consider this, would normally train in Austria for six weeks then we would send it to Japan and work for the season. But unfortunately, that's not all it's all this either. Yeah, it is a big problem uh, with the, with all these changes that are going on. But but you can help with all this sort of thing, can't you? You can you, you know you, there's visa there's visa issues, but there they, they are go arounds on that. There will be go arounds. The problem is at the minute the perfect storm of COVID and Brexit. A lot of the authorities and a lot of the government channels, when you talk to them, are distracted from COVID. They're so concerned as to how is COVID going to affect this season, the, the economy this season, that they're not. They're going to be more reactive to this problem as opposed to being proactive. I believe if COVID wasn't here, they would have seen, for example, in Austria, France, Switzerland, we are really short of workers. We've got a big problem there at the minute. But it's a combination of two things. One thing is Brexit, but secondly, the Eastern European one, where we only take a lot of workers from, they're not vaccinated. Or they have a Sputnik vaccination, and that's not accepted in Austria, for example. So we are really short of workers. Now that might fall in favour to the UK market because if the government then looks at those people, there's a big problem last year, we need to address it in summer and make sure there's visas for these people to actually come in and work the following season. 
That's what we've got to hold for. My advice would be to the market is, if you want to guarantee an improvement, then you really got to look at the minute. If you're under 30, and that means, be careful, because some people will try and offer you a training course in Japan. There's no snow in Japan, remember? And often in December, so we'll get tricked into going to Japan, training in Europe, get your level two in Europe, and then in December the 1st, you can have a good season. The best thing is about it is, Earn a lot more in Japan than you would ever earn in Europe. In fact, you can pay me a course in Japan, which you would never be able to do in the first season in Europe. So it's a great option for the industry. We're chatting with Paul Wilson from uh, Paul Simpson. I've been Tony, I'm now Paul Wilson, but I'm like, I hate to make Who cares? You're going to be everything at the end of this industry. Yeah. Yeah. Now. now, Paul Simpson from the Ski Instructor Academy. Now, Paul, how can people find out more online about the Ski Instructor Academy? They want to become a ski instructor. If they are a ski instructor, they can do all sorts of different levels. Right? Well, I first would say, if they get in, let's say, to Ski Instructor Academy on YouTube and podcasting, you'll find, especially if you're already an experienced instructor, some really interesting things about biomechanics, about ski analysis, etc. That's a great way to introduce yourself to our company. Whether Because we don't just do instructor courses, we actually do camps. A lot of those camps have a lot of people, 40, 50, you know, some of those camps. It's not just a kid's 80 to 20 year old course system. But look, we are probably number one in Google. If you enter in ski instructor courses, you're going to find we're going to pop up. But just enter in ski instructor academy, ski instructor courses, and I guarantee you'll come to us. The great thing is our website is a wealth of knowledge. But also the podcasts are a wealth of updated gossip within the ski industry. That is really important whether you're a parent investing in your son or daughter's future or you just want to do it yourself and you'll find a lot of information to put on the right course tailor made to you. It's Paul Simpson. Yes, that's right. Now, Paul, thanks very much for dropping by. We really appreciate it. And we'll put all the links down on the bottom of this clip for you guys. And uh, congratulations on all the work you do uh, creating ski instructors in the world. Because without ski instructors, we wouldn't have an industry. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, I mean, especially the young audience as well. Because those people who come in, they look after the customer season. You know, they're they're, they're the ski school is leave. Awesome. That a lot of them are just there for one season. The ski schools need this revolving conveyor belt because they lose 60 or 70 percent of the instructors each season and they need a new batch in. And hey, if you're in an industry career, focus personally, even better. You've been in the industry 5, 10, 20 years. Yeah, you need and, and the great thing is, right now, the European market is desperate for ski instructors and, and they want them from all over the place. So it's a great career path. If you're thinking of becoming an instructor, this is your time, go for it. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's not just about money, it's about smiling your face. Okay, great. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, mate. Have a great day. Remember, Ski Instructor Academy, just put it in Google, give us a wave to our ski TV audience out there. We'll see you later. Thanks for tuning in. behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the walls down one by one nothing can stop